today's topic is metabolism of phenylalanine and tyrosine so phenylalanine is essential tyrosine is non essential amino acid and both are both glucosinic and ketogenic amino acid so the fates of phenylalanine and tyrosine as well as the important metabolic reactions so first synthesis of glucose and ketone bodies or fats now first phenylalanine undergoes hydroxylation to tyrosine by phenylalanine hydroxylase here tetrahydrobiopterin is required tetrahydrobiopterin is converted into dihydrobiopterin dihydrobiopterin can be converted into tetrahydrobiopterin by dihydrobiopterin reductase and nadp is required now tyrosine is transaminated into para hydroxy phenyl pyruvate by the enzyme tyrosine transaminase which requ requires PLP <coughs> as coenzyme now para hydroxy phenyl pyruvate is hydroxylated to dihydroxy phenyl acetic acid it is also known as homozentesic acid or homozentesic homo genti set or homozentesic acid this is para hydroxy phenyl pyruvate hydroxylase It requires copper and vitamin C as cofactors. Then dihydroxy phenyl acetic acid or homozentesic acid is acted upon by the enzyme homozentesic oxidase. Iron is required to form four millil. Acetic acid. Four millil acetic acid is converted into four fumaril acetic acid by the enzyme millil acetic acid isomerase. Then this four fumaril acetic acid is converted into fumarate and acetic acid by the enzyme fumaril acetic acid hydrolase. So fumarate enters the TCA cycle and forms glucose. Acetoacetate is the ketone body. So it can be converted into acetyl coenzyme A and can form fatty acid. Next is synthesis of catecholamines. Catecholamines are named because there is a catechol nucleus. There are three catecholamines 
epinephrine, norepinephrine, and dopamine. They are synthesized from the adrenal medulla and sympathetic ganglia. So first tyrosine is converted into dihydroxyphenylalanine. or DOPA by the enzyme tyrosine hydroxylase here again tetrahydrobiopterin is required tetrahydrobiopterin is required which is converted into dihydrobiopterin it can be reconverted into the tetrahydrobiopterin by dihydrobiopterin inductase. Again, NADPH is required. Then this DOPA or dihydroxyphenylalanine is converted into dopamine, which is the first catecholamine by DOPA decarboxylase. There is decarboxylation. PLP is required as the coenzyme. Then dopamine undergoes hydroxylation by dopamine beta hydroxylase. Vitamin C is required to form norepinephrine. Norepinephrine is the second catecholamine. Then norepinephrine is acted upon by the enzyme phenyl ethanolamine and methyl transferase. It is a methyl transferase. Where methyl group is donated by acidinosyl methionine to form epinephrine. This is the second catecholamine. Sorry, third catecholamine. Then epinephrine is converted into metanephrine. By the enzyme catechol O methyl transferase, COMT, catechol O methyl transferase. Again, as adenosyl methionine donates the methyl group. Then this metanephrine is converted into vanillyl mandelic acid by the enzyme monoamino oxidase. Monoamino oxidase. So this is the pathway by which these catecholamines are produced. This epinephrine and Norepinephrine increases blood pressure. They are released in response to flight, fright, fight, exercise, and hypoglycemia. Number three, synthesis of thyroid hormones. Thyroid hormones are triiodothyronine or T3 and thyroxine or tetrahydrothyronine. Now the stages of thyroid hormone synthesis, first stage is uptake of iodine, Abdic iodine is taken up. Then next is oxidation of iodine to active iodine by the enzyme thyroperoxidase, then iodination. So this iodination process occurs in the glycoprotein thyroglobulin. So the protein thyroglobulin has tyrosine residues. This is the protein thyroglobulin. So this tyrosine residues uh, get iodinated by active iodine. Active iodine is I plus.
to form mono iodo tyrosine or di iodo tyrosine where two iodine active iodines are there so this is <coughs> iodination of the tyrosine residues of thyroglobulin then there is coupling where there is coupling of MIT and DIT monoidotyrosine and diodotyrosine to form triadotyronine or T3 DIT and DIT they combine to form tetraidotyronine or thyroxine next is this T3 and T4 when they are part of thyroglobulin can be stored so stories then in need they can be utilized by proteolysis T3 and T4 are released by proteolysis by protease enzymes from the thyroglobulin so this is about synthesis of thyroid hormones from tyrosine next is melanin melanin is a pigment synthesized by the melanoblast first tyrosine is acted upon by the enzyme tyrosinase this is also a hydroxylase but it is different from tyrosine hydroxylase it contains copper it does not need tetrahydrobatrin and it is uh, formed in the melanoblast this forms dopa then again the same enzyme tyrosinase act on dopa to form dopaquinone Dopaquinone takes up cysteine from glutathione to form 5S cysteinyl dopa. Or it can be non enzymatically cyclized to form leukodopachrome. Leukodopachrome. There is cyclization of dopaquinone. <coughs> then lico dopachrome gets oxidized into dopachrome, which is red in color. Dopachrome is decarboxylated to form 5,6 indole. Sorry. Five six dihydroxy indole five six dihydroxy indole undergoes oxidation to form indole five six quinone. indole 56 quinone now this <coughs> 5s cysteinyl dopa is converted into benzo thiazine derivatives intermediates which is converted into few melanins now this dopaquinone leukodopachrome dopaquinone 56 dihydroxy indole and indole 56 quinone they forms they form u 
melanin the polymerase to form the pigment u melanin and the u melanin and pheomelanins can also polymerase to form heteropolymers so this is how this u melanins or this melanin pigments are formed from tyrosine next is there is a minor minor pathway metabolic pathway minor pathway of tyrosine where tyrosine is converted into tyramine by tyrosine decarboxylase which requires PLP as the coenzyme tyramine undergoes deamination by deaminase enzyme to form para hydroxyphenyl acetate para hydroxyphenyl acetate and it is excreted in the urine 